Hey guys, it's me Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and anywhere you can sell clothing or home decor online. And today is a little bit of like a bittersweet video. Um, so a lot of you guys do know that I am moving. Um, I move next week and I'm moving back to where our family's from um, over in Yellowstone National Park. So I'm going to be moving to the national park. So my house is there inside the park, which is kind of cool. Um, and my husband's family's right there, which is gonna be really nice with the baby coming to have them um, around to help out. So it'll be really nice to have their help. But the sad thing is, is the thrifting there is far from where I'm living. Um, it's like an hour and a half drive. So I'll still be reselling, I'll still be thrifting, but there's no savers. So that kind of gets to the whole point of this video today. This is my last time going to Savers until further notice. I'm super, 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 I'm super sad about it. Um, it's definitely my last time going to the Savers here in St. Louis. I don't know when I'll be coming back to this area. So yes, I'm very sad, but it's okay. But I'm also very sad because you guys know how much I love Savers. So I am going to be going to my favorite Savers here in St. Louis today. And I'm not necessarily looking for a bunch of stuff to resell just because I'm moving and I have all this to already deal with in the move, but I am looking for more like maternity style stuff for me to wear this summer. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and have my last visit. So yeah, super bittersweet, but I thought I'd take you guys along with me. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back. It is a couple hours later, um, but I thought I would just go through and show you guys what I got. I wasn't able to film a bunch in Savers just because it was so crowded. It was um, like Senior Tuesday or something where it's like the only time of the week they do any sort of like consistent discounts. Um, so yeah, it was crazy in there, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Some of it um, is for me, some of it's to resell. So I'll kind of go through and show you what I got from me, um, which I know is not super exciting since it's not necessarily, you know, like resale stuff, but it's part of the haul. So I thought I would show you guys anyway. Um, so I think this is all that's for me. Okay. So just a few things. Um, I'll start off with, let's see, I got this dress. It was $10, nothing like super special. Um, but since I'm going to be pregnant all summer, um, I thought I would like try to find some cute like lightweight dresses, which this is the only one I found, but it's just this little dress with like the little knot in the front. Um, and I just thought this would be cute with a bump. I don't know. Something comfortable, I guess. Um, then next is a nursing top, which was new with tags. So I was excited about that. Um, but I love, even like when I wasn't pregnant, I would buy nursing tops just cause I love the deep slits on the side. So like I, I am not someone who will wear something that's like super tight fitted. I used to, but nowadays I'm like, I just like things to be flowy and comfortable. Um, so I got this, which I'll wear even when I'm done nursing one day, but yeah, just just pregnant things. Um, another thing I got, which I don't know if I'm going to make this look cute just because it's like, it's a size petite large. So we'll see. I don't know. It might be too big still, but um, it's just this cute, I think it's linen. Let me check. I want to say it's like a linen cotton blend, maybe. Linen rayon blend. Okay. So it is linen. It's just this lightweight top that has like the asymmetrical buttons going down the side and then it ties at the bottom. And I thought this would be super cute. It's really lightweight and flowy. So 
really good for the summer. Um, and then I got one last thing for myself, um, which this was only $12, which like I don't think I'd pay this to resell, but for myself, I was here for it. Um, it is a The North Face fuzzy zip up jacket. Um, it did have a little bit of a stain right there on like the white part of the zipper, but I'm like fairly confident OxyClean will get that out. But it's a size large, so it's super oversized and so comfy and there was no holes in it. I feel like every time I find a North Face or Columbia or Patagonia that's fuzzy like this, there's always like a cigarette hole or something in it. And I had my husband look over it, I looked over it, and there was no holes. So I'm really excited to wear this. I am moving somewhere where it's really cold in the winter, so this is gonna come in handy. It's still cold there right now. We leave um, this next week to move, and it's still like in the 30s and 40s there. Um, so that's gonna come in handy like next week. Um, okay, so now all of this stuff is to resell. Um, I'm fairly confident. So I did get some pieces. I told myself I wasn't going to get a bunch to resell. But you know when you see good brands or pieces that you know will sell well for you, it's hard to leave them. Um, so yeah, I got some stuff. Uh, this first piece is a We the Free by Free People. And it's just this really pretty like red burnt orange um, ribbed t-shirt. You can't really tell the color it's not like coming up true but it's just a ribbed t-shirt super lightweight i thought this was something that i might um wear a little bit and then sell i'm not sure but i love like simple we the free pieces um they tend to do fairly well for me so that's exciting um this next piece this is probably my favorite piece um it was when we were walking out um, it was like just being put out onto the sweater rack and I scooped it up so fast. So this is a Lululemon scuba hoodie, which I have never found one of these in a thrift store. So I have sourced them before, but they've always been online from either shopgoodwill.com or um, ThreadUp or something of the sort. So I was so excited to finally find one in store. My last trip to Savers, so exciting. So there's the logo right there. It also has the logo on the little um, pole, which my friend Emily said that these are like you can use them as a hair tie. I had no idea about that. She was like, yeah, like you can take them off at the gym, use it as a hair tie, put it back on, zipper pull. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Um, but this is a size eight and I thought it was just a really cool pattern, a really cool piece. Scuba hoodies tend to do really, really well for me. So if I see them, I grab them. <laughs> um, okay, so this next piece, the tag, it's kind of falling off this one. So I gotta be careful. Um, but it's, I literally don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the M-A-J-E brand. I think it's sold at Revolve, maybe, places like that. I honestly have no idea. All I know is that it resells for a decent amount. Comps for this piece were like $45. Um, but it's just this white ribbed double V tank top. It's really hard to like show the structure of it um, because it's just a weird piece, but it's a tank top, it's super fitted, it has the deep V on the front and the back. Um, yeah, just a super simple piece, but this brand does fairly well, so I picked it up. All right, so this piece is Outdoor Voices, which if you guys didn't know, this is a fairly decent um, like athletic wear brand to pick up, so that's what the tag looks like, Outdoor Voices. And this is just a like one-piece bodysuit. It's not a swimsuit. They kind of branded it like just as a one piece. Um, I found it online, but it has the big hole in the back. So big peekaboo hole. And then it's kind of like a boy short on the bottom. Um, it's an overall pretty good shape. So I found comps for this. They were around $45. So I decided to pick it up. Outdoor Voices. Um, it's kind of getting up there with like Lululemon where um, it's more desired. So people definitely are looking for it. So if you see it in the thrift store and it is reasonably priced, I would pick it up. Okay. So this is just a anthropology postmark striped t-shirt, super simple piece, but things like this tend to do fairly well for me. I mean, they bring in like 25 to $27. So it's not like an amazing flip or anything, but pieces like this are super easy to list and I mean, if I can take $3 and turn it into $25, I will do that any day of the week. So I tend to pick these up if they're in good condition.
I think most of these are like little basic pieces. Okay, so this is a free people top. Let's get the tag out so you can see the actual tag. Um, so if you guys don't know, that's free people. And this is just like a kind of just stress, like raggedy top. I don't know if it's like supposed to be off the shoulder or not. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, but it has like the raw distressed hem um, and just like this little detail across the front. So super cute, super simple. Like I said, pieces like this don't bring in a ton of money, but like an easy $25. Okay, another simple We The Free piece. I don't wanna rip this one. Okay, so this one is just a We The Free By Free People um, peplum top. So it's just, I, it's like a bluish green. Um, peplum, kind of oversized. I think this is, yeah, an extra small, so a little bit of an oversized fit. I might wear this for a little bit um, during the summer if I decide to. I don't know. Um, all this stuff won't be listed until I do get settled into my new house, so it'll be a little bit before these things are posted, but that gives me time to decide if I want to keep them or not, so I guess it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> um, but okay, so this next piece is a Maeve by Anthropology. And Maeve does fairly well for me. Um, it's one of the anthropology brands that probably flips a little bit quicker for me. Um, but this is the back. So it's kind of like a fun little knot back. Is it like a knot back? It's kind of like a knot back. I don't know. But a little fun detail on the back with the tie. And then the front is more basic. But it's a really pretty like pink purpley color. It's the lighting in this room is absolutely horrible. I'm so sorry. But it's like a pinkish purple. Um... Another like basic piece, but usually a quicker flip for Maeve for me. Okay, so this is another anthropology piece. And this is a knit, it's called Knitted and Knotted. And the little tag is just like that. You can kind of see on there, it says Knitted and Knotted. Um, I love this piece so much. I wish it would fit me. I, like I said, I don't really like things that fit really tight to the skin. So I would not be the biggest fan of this, but it is so pretty. The color is not showing up the way that it looks, but it is just a cold shoulder sweater with a little bit of like a bell sleeve um, at the bottom. And it's so pretty. It's like this reddish orange. I love it so much. Um, I know it's like not really sweater season anymore, but I could not leave it because I love the color so much. Oh, it's so pretty. It'll still sell. I'm fairly confident. The style's a good style, so it will sell just maybe not right away um but all right so here's another postmark by anthropology another little simple piece i only grabbed this one um because it was like two dollars um i probably would have left it if it was any more than that but it's just this um and i do say that i would have left it because it is a little bit faded like there is a little bit of wash wear and there's like very minor pilling on it i don't even know if the camera will pick it up but very minor pilling on it, um, but it is a really pretty green color and it has like a little fun mini high-low hem bottom. Not showing up super well on the camera, but just another little basic piece that's easy to list and a good closet filler item. Okay, this is the second time I've found this piece at this Savers. Um, this is a Lovers and Friends, so if you've never seen that, it looks like that. And it is the, it's just like a really cute beaded like semi crop top. I love this piece so much. The last one I found was missing some beads. So I didn't get as much as I wanted for it, but I will be able to get more for this one because all the beads are there. It is such a pretty piece. The back is just blank, but it does have like the beads and then like the crochet eyelet detail. I don't know if that's necessarily what you call it, but the fun little cutout detail, um, it's so pretty. I love it. I wish this one was not an extra small because I would keep it. Although I look like I'd fit into an extra small, it's just, I like I said, I wear things oversized, so I would rather have a medium, but maybe I've sourced it in a small and an extra small now. So maybe I will find it in a medium next. That would be exciting because I really love the top. It is so, so pretty. Okay. Next is another free people. So this is an older free people tag. You can kind of see it right there. Um, but this is just a like, so this is just a lace t-shirt, um, see-through sheer lace with a raw hem detail and um, has like the little like semi-scalloped 
hem on the arms. Super pretty piece. Um, things like this usually do well for me over the summer because people like to wear them to like weddings and stuff like that. Um, and like just spring, summer things, I don't know, events. But things like that usually do pretty well for me this time of year or this upcoming time of year. So I decided to pick it up. Um, okay. This next piece is a Broadway and Broom, which if you didn't know, this is a Madewell brand. So Broadway and Broom, um, size extra small. And this is the most beautiful shirt. It's not going to show up great on camera in this lighting, but it is just a red top with like the see-through lace detail. Um, it's so pretty. It's not doing it justice, but it's a very, very, very pretty top. And things like this with this style along with the cream lace free people top do well for me this spring slash summer time of year so yeah i picked it up um and yeah if you guys didn't know broadway broom is a madewell brand okay and the last piece is this tory birch top which does have a little stain on it but i'm fairly confident i'll be able to get it out um i don't have time to return it so i did take the tag off if not i'll just sell it as is but Tory Burch extra small and so it's just this basic t-shirt with like a little bit of a beaded detail along the v-neck and on the bottom trim um the stain is let's see it's super small it's right there and so it is on the white part so I should be able to either get it out with bleach very carefully or just an oxyclean bath but I thought this was super cute just the stripe and then the back has this floral detail. So I did pick it up with the stain. It was only $4.49. So I, I mean, I'm not losing a ton if the stain doesn't come out. I will still be able to sell it as is, but I thought it was pretty. I have a hard time leaving Tory Burch anyway. So like, I don't know. I always pick it up. So I'm a sucker for it, but yeah, super pretty top. I'm excited for this one. And that is the last piece in my haul, my big little pile right here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sad that that was my last trip to Savers. Um, I don't necessarily think my husband and I will be coming back to this area often. Um, my husband did not enjoy living here, so I don't foresee this being a place we visit too much. Um, maybe just to see some friends, but I don't think I'll be back to those savers necessarily. Um, in the area that I'm moving to, we do not have any sorts of savers or value village. Um, I think the closest ones are like near the Seattle area. Um, I'm not sure if there's some down in like Colorado or anything, but I know I do plan on visiting my friend Denali. She's El Dutro here on YouTube and Poshmark and Instagram and all of that. Um, so she does have value village over in Seattle. So when I visit her, I will hit up you know, a Savers owned store, but I'm going to miss my Savers here in St. Louis. They're amazing. They have treated me so well this past two years that I've lived here. So yeah, oh, I'm going to miss it. I got so emotional leaving. I actually cried, which is kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. It's just my favorite place here in St. Louis. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And be sure to subscribe if you're interested in any sort of reselling related content. Um, I also will be posting more pregnancy updates shortly. So reselling and pregnancy stuff is kind of what I'll be posting from now on. Um, so yeah, if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell button if you wanna get notified when I post. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.